friends welcome to inside text this is the platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system so friends continuing in the series of substation control panel equipment today we are here with a very basic video on over current and earth fault relay this is a kind of electromagnetic relay okay so in this video we are going to see some basics about Work current and earth fault relay. Let's get started. So we are going to cover following topics for this video: evolution of over current and earth fault relay. That is how it used to be electromagnetic, and how nowadays we are using microprocessor based numerical relays. Then visual experience of full type and new type relay. That is we will see practically how they both differ. Okay. Then some basics about settings of the relay, why they are required, and how to do the settings of the relay. And at the last, we are going to understand the connections. That is how electrical wiring is provided to this kind of relay. So let's see first the some basic idea about this relay. So friends, as you can see, this is the electrical diagram of electromagnetic relay used as over current and earth fault relay. Basically, it works on the uh, principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Let us now move on towards different parts of this relay. The first one is the current coil. As you can see, this current coil is directly connected to the secondary of the CT, and it is connected on this C-shaped piece, in which on one leg this current coil is provided, and this basically is used to provide a uh, operating torque. to this aluminum disc over here now this aluminum disc is the heart of the relay because relaying is done by the action of its rotation now how does it rotate to rotate this there is an arrangement of this shaded pole you can over here you can see two different flux are needed to generate a torque in this disc so this shaded pole arrangement is used to create the phase difference between two flux and the shaded portion flux always lags the unshaded portion so that way because of the phase difference there will be torque produced and as you know according to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction torque is directly proportional to the flux that means if i require more to torque i will require more i will require more flux okay so then there are this permanent magnet arrangement it is used to provide the damping torque and uh, basically what this does is it controls the speed of this disc okay then there are this uh, auxiliary contacts provided over here as the disc rotates this contacts converts from no to nc we will see this in practical example how the contacts are how the disc is operating okay then there are this plug settings given over here this plug settings again are very much useful to decide what is the speed of this disk and how this plug settings are done let us discuss in the video further so this is how a basic over current and earth fault electromagnetic relay looks like it has basically three relays two are over current and earth fault relay and the over current relays and the middle one is the earth fault relay okay so this is how electro magnetic relays are now taking out single unit that is one over current relay for one single phase okay so you can see over here this is the operating coil and uh, it gives it, there are contacts with it they are connected to the breaker or through master relay towards the breaker okay then uh, as as we saw in the diagram the input is given through the ct right so at so at this point input is given through the ct terminals at this point and from this it uh, it goes to the coil and this coil as we uh, saw in the diagram uh, what it does it gives a operating torque it generates a operating torque and due to that torque the disc starts rotating okay so you can see that the because of that disc it has one contact which operates our operating coil contacts see uh, when you see that the disc is operating because of the this contact 
because of this context see when it touches over here this context will start operating okay then there are this is the main current coil as we saw because of that current coil this operating coil is operated and that operates my context okay when this plunger is pushed because of this operating disc this plunge this contact get closed the plunger is pushed and because of the plunger you can see this contacts are changing from no to nc contact okay this contacts are basically given to the breaker and for annunciation okay so this is the output okay from this contacts the contacts are further connected to the breaker or through the annunciator for annunciating okay so now this is basically electromagnetic relay we saw the plug setting multiplier right in that uh, diagram also so this is the plug setting multiplier uh, what is its importance we'll discuss in video further this is time setting multiplier okay time multiplier setting that also we will discuss in video further but for now as you see the as we are increasing the setting the more more the setting the more time the disk will take to operate and more time it will take to op uh, connect this contact and uh, that's way how the operation of the relay can settings can be done so this is basically electromagnetic relay so as we have seen in the uh, diagram and also in the video we saw that uh, ct connections are provided okay to the current coil and the output coils output uh, contacts are connected to the breaker so this is basic understanding for this relay uh, now let us move further settings of over current and earth fault relay most interesting topic so to understand the settings of this relay we first have to understand what is idmt curve idmt basically it means inverse definite minimum time curve we are using idmt curve for doing the setting of this over current and earth fault relay so what this basically curve indicates as you can see over here is on the x axis there is current and on the y axis we have taken time so based on the graph as you see when there is minimum current when my current is less the time taken by the relay to operate or to send the trip command is more but as the current value of current is increasing the time taken by the relay to operate is minimum so as the name suggests inverse definite time right so more the current lesser the time and less the current more the time why this kind of setting is done because when the current is minimum the relay will give you some time for fault clearing it will give some time for the fault to clear itself if it is a high surge instead uh, it may be a, a mal operation if it operates instantly okay so it will give some time for the relay to operate okay and that time is fixed some definite time okay so when minimum fault current so time required is more and maximum fault current the time to operate will be less so based on this concept the setting of over current and earth fault relay really are done so now we know that based on idmt curve the setting are done so as we saw in the video that there is a provision for plug setting multiplier selection over here and this is the time setting multiplier okay so now let's see how this plug setting uh, is done okay so for example let us consider the ct that is connected for this feeder is having the ratio of 300 by 1 ampere okay so based on that ampere ampere capacity we can as you can see we can do the plug setting 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 5, 1, 1.25 and so on. So how to interpret this is 2.5 means to set the setting, plug setting to 50%. 0 0.75 indicates to have the setting up to 75%, 100%, 125% 1 and 150% and so on. Okay. So what does this mean is 
say suppose if the CT ratio is 300 by 1 ampere, 50% of this means 150 amperes. What does this, if I do the plex setting to 50%, what does it mean is whenever there will be 150 amperes flowing, at 150 amperes, the disc will start rotating. Okay, whenever current of 150 amperes or more is flowing, the disc will start its operation and it will indicate that now we have to trip. Why? Because the setting is 50% and current has reached to 150 amperes. Similarly, if the setting is 75%, then the disc will start operating at 225 amperes, 300 amperes for 100% and so on. So, depending on type of conductor, the current carrying capacity varies. So, the relay settings are done accordingly. And the second setting that we have to do is this time setting that we can do from here. So it can be done to 0 0.1, 0 0.2 seconds and so on. So on what this time setting will mean is whenever there will be 150 ampere and the disc is start rotating. So within 0 0.1 second, it will this contact will be closed and the NO contacts will plunger will be operated and it will change NO and NC contacts and the command to the breaker or master relay will be sent that has to be done in 0.1 second when current reaches to 150 amperes so according to idmt curve understanding the requirement of the system we have to set do the time settings basically we have to know the fault levels of the substation okay so higher the fault level uh, according to the time setting will be done right so this is about the settings of over current and fault relay so friends, this is all about electromagnetic relay, how the time setting, plug setting are done and how the disk will operate, how operations are done. That is all explained about overcurrent and earth fault relay in this video. Abhi, next video, we will evolution of the electromagnetic relay that is now absolute and now our numerical relay is coming. तो वो किस तरह से होते हैं वो देखेंगे और फिर अपना जो और कैंट एंड अर्थ फोल्ड रिले होता है उसका कनेक्शंस किस तरह से होते हैं वो देखेंगे सो काइंडली वॉच द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू